you probably heard people say things like, I just have a slow metabolism, or she can eat whatever she wants because she has such a fast metabolism. I have a metabolism. I have a really high metabolism. But here's the problem. Most of what people know about metabolism is either oversimplified or just plain wrong. And if you've ever wondered why you feel like you gain weight from just looking at a cookie while your friend over here is eating a whole pizza and doesn't gain a pound, this video is for you. Because the truth is, thinking about metabolism as just fast and slow is keeping you stuck and it could be sabotaging your wellness goals. Today, I'm breaking it all down so you can understand what metabolism really is, what actually affects it, and what you can do to support it without falling for gimmicks. What's up guys, if you're new here, I'm Alicia, a certified nutrition coach, and this is Eat Well with Alicia, where we keep nutrition simple, realistic, and fun. Also, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos on nutrition and wellness. Okay, let's start with the basics. Metabolism isn't one single thing. It's the sum of all the processes that your body uses to turn food into energy. Think of it like your body's engine. And just like a car, your engine runs whether you're driving or you're stopped. It's always on. There are three main parts to metabolism, basal metabolic rate or BMR. This is the biggest piece of the pie, about 60 to 70% of your daily energy burn. It's just keeping you alive, breathing, circulating blood, or even repairing cells. Thermic effect of food or TEF. It's a fancy way of saying that your body burns calories absorbing and digesting food. It's around 10% of your daily energy. Yes, eating burns calories. Physical activity. This one is the most variable. It includes workouts, but also everyday stuff like walking to the mailbox, fidgeting, or chasing your kids around. So if you thought hitting the gym was the biggest metabolism booster, surprise, it's actually just one part of the picture. Here's where things get juicy. Let's talk about the things that really affect metabolism. Genetics, yep, some of it is inherited. Muscle mass, more muscle equals more calorie burn, even at rest. Age, metabolism tends to slow as we get older. Hormones, thyroid, insulin, stress hormones, they all play a role. Lifestyle, sleep, stress, and nutrition have a bigger impact than most people believe. Let's go ahead and debunk a couple of myths. Myth number one, drinking ice will skyrocket your metabolism. The reality, the effect is tiny. <laughs> like not even worth counting tiny. Myth number two, eating six small meals a day will stoke the fire. In reality, meal timing doesn't magically speed things up. It's about what and how much you're eating overall. Instead of chasing metabolism hacks, here's what you can focus on. Building or maintaining muscle with strength training. Eating enough protein. Remember, it has the highest thermic effect. Prioritize sleep and stress management. Moving throughout the day, not just at the gym. Bottom line, metabolism isn't fast or slow. It's complex, adaptable, and very much influenced by your daily habits. Instead of blaming your metabolism, start working with it. Trust me, your future self will thank you. I'll see you guys in the next one.